What up, y'all? Welcome to 2022. Hope everybody's doing well, prosperity and peace. And I hope you are attaining your goals, you know. Hope a lot of people are really took into account of last year, right? Because preparation is key for everything, right? Go ahead, go up. So, starting out today, y'all, January 1, I didn't heat my, I didn't, uh, I didn't make my goal of hitting 185. I'm at 190 today. Still got five pounds to go. But nevertheless, we're still putting in the work, man. Squatting every day for the first 30 days of this year. Go ahead and go. And we're staying on the grind, man. Because it's about what you did today. Doing my one mile walk, weighted vest. And then we're getting into the training. Like I just mentioned, we're doing squat every day and full body. So every day I'm going to be squatting and doing full body training for the first 30 days. Not really worried about the weight as far as uh, how much weight. It's all about getting the work in, you know. And getting down to 185, maybe 180. So I've dropped 20 pounds in a, what, a month and a half. Started just before Thanksgiving time. And uh, like I said, now we're down to 190. Started at 210. Still putting in work. I mean, the gym stuff that comes natural to me. But the cardio, whole nother, a whole nother discussion. Slow down. So, but nevertheless, we're doing what we got to do, man. I just hope everybody out there is prepared for this year. I did prepare. I made preparations in the fourth quarter of last year for today, and now it's all about just one word: execution. Execution is the most imperative thing anybody can do. Because that's going to determine where you are at the end of the year. And if you hit your goals. It's a beautiful day out here, y'all. But keep that in mind, you know. Everybody doesn't have the same goals. And don't compare yourself to other people. When you compare yourself to other people, you limit what you can do. Or what your strengths are. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses. And it's up to you to hone in on that. You know. But every day, that's my motto, man. Every day, be the best version of yourself. Come 1% better every day as a man, as a woman, as a husband, as a father on your bike whatever it is you're trying to accomplish in life become one percent better and like i mentioned one routine is definitely key get up there come on go 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 one routine is key to your success but a lot of people neglect that don't neglect the small things what you do when people are not watching, it's going to come out, you know? And by that, I mean the small things in life is where it adds up. It's a compounding effect. If you only operate at optimal peak when people are watching, then you're going to fold under pressure. One thing I've realized myself you know what you practice in private is going to be shown in public good bad or indifferent it's just a fact of life so 
Come on, get up, get up. There you go. This way, brother. Oh, I got my guy with me. Get on your bike, son. Say hi. Hi. So, he's on with me on my mile walk. I might do two miles, I don't know yet, but. Gotta stay on the grind, man. Put in, pay your dues, and at the end of the day, you'll end up where you wanna end up. You'll be driving what you wanna drive. You'll be with the person that you wanna be with. Like I said, life reciprocates what you are, not what you want, so just continue on. And don't let other people determine your success. Come on. So 2022, y'all. We made it. And everybody did it. So that alone, you should be thankful. Every day, wake up. Thankfulness and gratitude. do the best of your abilities and like I said in my last video let the chips land where they may but yeah doing my mile walk 25 pounds vest weighted vest so no excuses man in life, I've realized that it's black and white. You either have excuses or you get results, but you can't have both. In life, you can either execute or you can plan. There's a Bible verse as well that talks about uh, murmuring and complaining, right? Children of Israel. They were murmuring, complaining, because they were let go from Pharaoh, but they had nowhere to go. They were supposed to enter into the promised land, right? But they never got there, the old heads at that point. So until all the people who were initially delivered out of Egypt died off, they didn't enter into the promised land. So... Let that be a lesson to you. The more that you complain, the less results you're gonna get out of life. Slow down. So, I mean, there's many wise stories like that throughout history. How about somebody who came from meager means from nothing and change the world. But that's what this gym stuff is to me, right? Do I like working out? Yeah, I do. Do I like training? Do I like doing cardio? Absolutely not, but you gotta do, you gotta make yourself uncomfortable to have the things that you wanna have in the future. If life were easy, everybody would have everything that they want, but it's not. And therefore, only select few have that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If something is hard or tough, that means the payout, the reward has an upside. But if something comes easy, then be, be wary of that because you never know what you're actually going to, uh, what kind of results you're gonna get out of that. But, I'm not gonna belay this any longer. Let's get to the workout. I'm gonna finish up my my walk, my cardio for the day, and then we we'll get into the workout. So we're squatting every single day. Going on vacation in a little bit, so I may not be doing barbell squats, but we're gonna do some variation of squat every single day, and we're doing full body training to build up the body, build up the mind. 
and that we get the results that we're looking for. So never let anybody tell you that you're lesser than, right? Now we're into the actual workout. So like I mentioned earlier, they squat every single day. I'm not worried about how much weight is on the bar. We're worrying about technique and hidden depth every single time. So ask the grass uh, for if lifters, you know what that means. That's what we're doing for every single rep as well as every single day. So typically what I like to do starting my year off, I usually do something that's uh, difficult, you know, to really push me to that next level. And I would definitely recommend people doing that as well. You might have to start at a smaller place. It doesn't even have to be working out. But something that you don't like to do, do that for a total of 30 days or 45 days to really get you in the groove of doing something you don't like. And I found that that has allowed me personally to progress at a better rate than most people. When you wake up and do something that you don't want to do or that you don't particularly like to do, that's going to fortify character for you. You know what I mean? So in squatting, I used to not, when I first started training, I did not train legs at all. Basically every single day I was training arms. And that's why my arms maybe are probably my best uh, feature on my body, maybe even my uh, back, because for a while there, I was training back every single day. I was deadlifting every single day. That's why if you see some of my back workouts, or just in my back in general, it's solid, because I was deadlifting heavy weight like five days a week <laughs> for a good amount of time. So... It's something to actually think about and get into. As you see now, my focus really is today was just chest. So we're doing full body every single day, but we're squatting every single day. So today my emphasis was on chest. So that's what we're doing. And you see the calves. Don't neglect those calves, y'all. Can't really see the the lighting is kinda kinda bad, but every single day. Work on your weaknesses until they become a strong point. And once they become a strong point, nobody can say anything about you. When it comes to fitness, when it comes to life in general, you got to do what's best for you, you know. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you do what everybody else does. All right, so here we got, uh, I call these chest presses with the plate. Same thing, like I said, my emphasis today was on chest. That's another lagging part that I have. And here we got the bus drivers. And then we're hitting shoulders as well. So all day or every single day we're doing full body. And we're squatting every day. Each day I'm going to do emphasis on a certain body part. I like compound movements. So that's another reason why I do this towards the beginning of my years as far as training and as you can see here hold on curls with presses as biceps obviously with shoulders so upper body a lot of people master their upper body but they neglect their lower body so me personally i'm not a bodybuilder um like i said my training has been more geared toward the big three which will be powerlifting. So keep that in mind. That's why you see I'm more developed upstairs and my deadlift is at, at its peak was pretty solid for my for my size and for my weight, you know. So and here we have flies. So this is a good alternative if you don't have a a cable cable um machine. So we do this here, and then you'll see here in a minute that we do some presses as well. That's gonna work on your the girth of your chest. 
So if you want a big chest, flies are a must or cables are a must as well. But again, y'all, do what you need to do. You know, too many times we're looking at these people online, whether it's CrossFit, bodybuilders, powerlifters, and we see them moving weight or we see that they're a certain size. But everybody has a genetic potential. And me personally, I don't think I've peaked to my genetic potential. But like I said, I am cutting down. So that's 